good morning. Okay, I am embracing the outdoor videos. I'm in a beautiful place and it's chilly, but I really wanted to record this and bring this in here. This is a question I get a lot. How can I be happy? How can I be okay? How can I focus even on me when there's so much going on in the world? When, you know, there's an environmental crisis, when there is violence and war and so many things that I don't want to see in the world and there they are. So how can I be okay when all of that is going on? My reply is harsh, but it doesn't make it any less true. And I believe sometimes you really need that kind of punch in the face to really get real about things. It's selfish. Your fear, hurt, anger, it's selfish. And look, I know of this firsthand. I mean, I'm originally Ukrainian. I have family uh, who was still in Kiev and has been this whole time. And um, I know firsthand what it's like and how tempting it is to just go into um, what is happening in the well, but it's real and I'm seeing this and I'm witnessing it and my loved ones are witnessing it and living it. Um, and how tempting it is, right? And just like it is on the macro level of some global things, on the micro level in your own life, how tempting it is to look at what you see around you and just keep going with that momentum of, oh, this is reality, this is what it is, and keep recreating more of it. And that's selfish. Because that's the easy, that's the easy path, that's the default, that's what your ego is already doing. And my question to you is just as, you know, throughout your day, just your own life, let's just zoom in to a simple example, your own life. When you feel rage or anger towards someone or something, when you feel sadness or hurt, how are your actions from that place? How are your thoughts from that place? How are your choices, the choices that you make from that place? How do they work out? Who are they of service to? You are of service to no one when you're at that lower frequency, when you choose to be stuck in those energies. You see, the courageous thing is going against the ego's program. The courageous thing is to hold the vision of light of the world that you want to see. From that place of possibility, love, joy, you make choices that are in alignment with that vision. You make choices that are of service to you and to all those around you. It doesn't come from hatred. It doesn't come from anger. It doesn't come from hurt. We've, we have enough of that. We've seen what that does. And this comes, you know, from so much programming, from fairy tales. You're supposed to slay the dragon. You're not supposed to slay it. You're supposed to open your arms and love it. And know that when you face it, and um, I'm actually currently reading The Course in Miracles, and this speaks so much of that. When you call the illusion for what it is, it disappears. When you're so caught up in your own limitations, in your own anger and your own hurt and your own ego. So my question with this one is how can you open more? How can that which you witness, which feels so wrong and out of alignment in the world, how can you instead of going into fear or anger or I've got to fight this, tune in first, just like you do in your everyday life, into your vision into the vision of the world, of the community you want to live in, of that peace and love and connection and freedom and prosperity and well-being. And from that place, when you feel that in your body, from that place, speak. From that place, take action. We tell so many stories that feel negative, that bring down our frequency. 
can you commit to telling good feeling stories? Those of that beautiful vision. Are you, well, are you able to and willing to hold that for the world? Because that's the courageous thing to do. That's the non-selfish thing to do. Not to give in to your ego's fears, but be strong enough to create instead of looking at what is and believing that that's true. So on this note, I thank you for being here. Whether this is something that, you know, is on a global scale or something in your own life, how can you bring more life, love, consciousness to that today? Many blessings, and as always, I'm wishing you a powerful day. Thank you.